<laughs> the White House must be flipped out about this next one. And if it isn't, the White House should be. It could be Solyndra all over again. Another Obama administration giant blunder. Another company backed by the U.S. Energy Department. That means your tax dollars is reportedly preparing for bankruptcy. This time, it is an electric car company, Fisker Automotive. Taxpayers, yes, let me repeat, that means you could be on the hook for $192 million. Now, how can this happen again, right after the Solyndra mess? Dennis Neal is co-anchor of Markets Now on Fox Business Network. He joins us. Dennis, um, the, the White House must, I mean, the, the rumor is that uh, Fisker has begun assembling a group of bankruptcy lawyers. That's a bad sign. Would you agree? Yeah, it's a really bad sign. It means that Fisker likely will head into bankruptcy court to ch declare Chapter 11 so that its creditors that it owes money to can't collect its debts. Well, those creditors include especially American taxpayers. This company was approved for $530 million in federal loans. It took almost $200 million, and it did it to, it was going to create 1,000 jobs in America. Well, it turns out it doesn't make cars here. It makes $100,000 electric hot rods in Finland, where it employs 500 people. It had 200 people in the U.S., and last week it laid off virtually all of them. Its first debt payment on that federally guaranteed loan is due in a few weeks, and now it's likely instead to go into bankruptcy court. You know, 26 companies, green energy companies, have gotten government loan guarantees through this one particular program, and Fisker was in that. Three have gone bankrupt. We've got over $600 million in losses so far. That could easily double from my record. You got that Solyndra debacle, right, with $535 million down the drain. I guess it's a deal then. This is only $192 million or something. I guess we're getting off easy this time. Exactly, because the government came in last May after there was controversy and said, well, we better, better hold off on this and take a harder look at it. Never mind that the VC firm that funded Fisker, a partner, was Al Gore. Never mind that this is a company that makes $100,000 hot rods for people like uh, Leo DiCaprio, okay? This is not the way to solve the energy well, crisis. But it's... it's it's, it's more than that, though. I mean, if this is a really good business deal, we just had Steve Forbes on, who I'm sure he's always looking to, for good investments and everything. If, you, if the private capital doesn't want to invest in it, that might be a good sign to our energy department and all our non-business government people who seem to be so loosey-goosey with our money that maybe it's not a good idea to invest in it. Exactly. I mean, usually, usually when you have to go to public money, there's a good reason, because the private money thinks it's a dumb idea. I know a guy who raised $200 million dollars in private money in three months for an electric car battery company and ultimately raised 750 million without needing government largesse to do it that's you know let government do building blocks basic research not fund some sexy new car that justin bieber wants to drive when he gets old enough to get his license come on yeah, you know, I just think it's it's appalling how you know the government just thinks it's fine to do all these dumb investments in the. I mean, if one of them were smart, I'd be singing a different tune. But I just, at night after night after night, whatever. Anyway, Dennis, thank you. Okay.